In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, the Boston Red Sox fans. As a Twins fan, it's tough for me to applaud other teams, but I feel like this is a situation where I, where I can do so. So the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles have had a heated rivalry over the last week or so. It started when an Orioles player named Manny Machado slipped into second base and took out Dustin Pedroia, a Boston Red Sox player. And it wasn't an overly aggressive slide, but it, it injured Pedroia and he had to come out of the game. A couple days later, Machado got hit by a pitch. It's baseball's revenge. You hurt our player, we hurt you. So the rivalry is intensifying. More players are getting thrown at, people are getting kicked out, yada, yada, yada. Then a couple days ago, outfielder Adam Jones for the Orioles was subjected to racist taunts from the fans in Boston. First of all, yeah, racism is bad, but <laughs> racism in terms of heckling and jokes, it just isn't even funny. It's like lowest common denominator humor. It's like if you can't come up with anything that actually can insult someone, let's, uh, let's pick the most obvious thing. Uh, what color are you? And just use that. It's the worst insult possible. It takes zero thinking. It's only the dumb people that resort to that when you're trying to insult somebody or heckle someone. If you really wanted to get under Adam Jones's skin, insult his OPS or his on-base percentage or his fielding range. I don't know, something that actually matters. But no, a couple of the Red Sox fans stoop to lowest common denominator heckling. Heckling that even the stupid people can understand. Now if the story ended there, obviously this would not be a good thing. It would be a bad thing. However, the next day when Adam Jones stepped up to the plate, he got a standing ovation from the Boston Red Sox fans. Red Sox fans are mean. So if you get a standing ovation from them as a visiting player, it means something. So yes, it was terrible that Adam Jones was subjected to that heckling from those couple fans. However, today's one good thing is the rest of the fans that literally stood up, stepped up to the plate, and tried to make things right. And then later in the series, a Boston fan was permanently banned from the stadium for saying a racist mark to another fan. So Boston fans, for those few idiots, your idiots, and the rest of you that are standing up for what's right, good work. So that's today's one good thing. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you next week.